Hey guys, it's Paige, and I am so excited to start this YouTube channel so I can share my skills and techniques with you so you can improve your art or learn different ways to express yourself. Today's skill is embroidery, but not on cloth. We're actually doing it on paper. You can do any shape or phrase, but today I'm doing a flamingo. You can also decorate it however you want on the sides. Like, I did flowers on this one, but you can do anything you want. So, let's get started. We will be using a needle, so parent supervision is advised for smaller kids while doing this activity. So here's all the supplies you'll need. The first is a piece of paper. This is watercolor paper, and it is very thick, as you can hear. And this is so that when we poke the holes, they won't crumple or tear the paper. You'll also need your drawing or printed picture so you can base the holes off of it a glue stick, a pair of scissors, masking tape and a needle, and I poke a hole with the needle into the masking tape. That way I keep it here and it won't get lost. Embroidery thread, I got this from Hobby Lobby, but you can get, buy them online with like 50 in a pack. And optional supplies are Posca pens, this one is silver to give them a little bit of flare and sparkle. This little one is black and I use this one for outlining the details. You can also use acrylic paint to get the triangle, but you don't need this. If you really want, you can just have a silhouette in the middle of what your character or saying is. Our first step is to measure how much masking tape We'll go from this corner to the other. So let's lightly judge how much that will be. So for me, it's about this much. And for the sake of presentation, I am going to use a pillow. Now, I am going to lightly dab the tape onto the pillow, but you can use the fabric on your clothes that you are wearing. You don't have to use a pillow or some clothes hanging on a hanger. You can use your shirt or your shorts or your pants. I'm just using this for the sake of a presentation so you can see what I'm doing. This is so that when we stick the tape onto our watercolor paper, it won't stick too much and tear the paper when we rip it off. So that's about as much as we need. We can put that aside, put our paper back down, we're gonna go from this corner to this corner. And then we're gonna take our scissors and cut the excess. Just like that. Now you can put your needle back in the masking tape. Look a hole. it out. So now that we have this, we're going to cut the ends off. Just like that. Let's do the other one now. These are optional steps. So what's going to happen now is you're going to paint this side of acrylic paint. I already have an example because I've already done it. So it should look like this. This is optional. If you want, you can just put your embroidered symbol in the middle. You don't have to have this, but I think it adds a little bit of pizzazz. So now that you have painted this part, any color that you want, it should now look like this. So now I need to tape our picture to our page. Now that our picture is taped down, we're going to take our needle and poke holes around the edges, kind of like that. I'll do a time lapse of that and when I'm done, I'll come right back. I'm going to 
take off my piece of paper. So we're left with this. We can put that to the side. And now what we'll be needing is our masking tape, embroidery string, and needle. So I'm just gonna take the two little binding things off here. Pull it out a little bit. Now I have to put the string into this little loop. It's gonna take me a little while, so I'll come back when it's done. I finally got the thread through the needle. So we're gonna start our stitching on the back of the paper. So we're just gonna put it in one of the holes. I'm putting it through the tip of the beak because that's the best place for me to start. I'm just going to keep pulling until I have a little bit hanging off. Now we're going to get a piece of masking tape and tape that down. So now we're going to flip our page over and then go to the next hole. And then just pull tightly. And then we're going to go to the next hole. Pull tightly. And this is where our pattern starts. Our pattern is back forward, back forward. So we're going to go back to complete this gap. And now we're going to go forward to the next hole. So we just went forward, pull tightly, move backwards to complete that gap, pull tightly, go forward to the next hole, go back to fill in that gap, and as y'all can see there's a pattern to it. I'm going to do it one more time and I'm going to do a time lapse. So we're going to go forward into the opened hole that has no string in it. Then we're going to go back to fill in the gap. And so I really hope this pattern helps. I'm gonna put it on time lapse now. string no worries just get some masking tape and tape it down and then get your embroidery string and cut you another piece that's all you gotta do changing it up a little bit however you do not have to do this if you don't want to you can do a solid one color but I'm getting a little adventurous and I wanted to do the yellow feet 
the yellow beak and a black eye so I'm gonna spice it up a little bit again you don't have to if you don't want to if you want one full color that's great I just kind of want to do a little bit of the yellow accents and the black eye and I think it's gonna look a little bit better so I cut off a little bit of the strings on the beak and I'm ready to go with the yellow and the black As you can see, we have a lot of tape holding in the strings. This is where the glue comes in. All you have to do is take off that tape. For instance, I'm working on this one. I'm just going to glue that string down. We're taking all this tape off. It, it is tearing the tape paper a little bit, but that's okay because this is the back. And the back doesn't always have to look good, especially when you're doing string art. I'm putting it over these problem areas. Taking all that tape off. We don't want that on the back of our string art though. Just get those. And when it dries, these strings will be stuck to the back of the paper. And it is very late at night right now when I'm finishing this. I'm lucky I have all this lighting systems. Because if I didn't, you would not be able to see what's going on right now. I have a lot of different um, ends because I did multiple colors. And be generous because you don't want these falling off and then um, fraying and then ruining after a while. So you want to make sure you coat them so that they don't fray. And then start messing up what you did for hours. There we go. All the tape is off and all the strings are drying. So now we just have to wait for this to dry and then we can turn it over and see our final product. However, I am going to add some details so it won't really be the final product. It will just be um, the final product of the strings because I'm going to add some flowers I think. So yeah, 12 o'clock at night. The glue is dried and I want to show you the front. So without further ado, 
Ta -da! I think it looks really cute and we haven't even finished it yet. I am still going to put some decorations on the side, although you don't have to. You can just leave it like this, but I think mine needs a little bit more something to just tie the whole piece together. Just like this one that I made, the flowers tie it all together and that's what I need for this flamingo painting. I'm going to draw something and paint something that ties this whole theme and painting together. And if y'all don't know, this string art is based on this painting that I made. I finished it this month, and I love how this one turned out. That's why I'm making string art based on it. And flamingos are also my second favorite animal, so that's why I was inspired to do all of this to begin with. So, I'll see you in the morning, and I'll see what I can do to tie up the whole painting. So I finally finished my painting, and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous from the chrome finishings or silver on the line, my little signature, and the two hibiscus flowers. I think it turned out really good. And I hope you had fun making your own embroidered piece, and I can't wait to teach you another skill in the next video. So, bye guys, I'll see you next time.